you know how most movies, most novels have a have an ending, have a resolution, have an aftermath. There's a period of of working out like what it all meant, what happened, what it means, a sense of peace that you finally reached something that, that you've come through and you and you're you're ready to maybe start a new chapter maybe or even a new book. But the problem at the moment, I think, in the world is that we, we're not having, there's no aftermath. <laughs> we're in a state of high, high state of anxiety, a high state of alertness, a high state of distraction. And we're all finding it really tough to figure out what things mean in the, in the world, let alone in our own lives. And because the world is so distracted and, and people have figured out how to get into our minds, you know, and you know, I appreciate the people that get into my mind that lead me to an aftermath, a, pe a peace, a peacefulness. Um, so you know, this is what I, I kind of like the yo yoga people on YouTube, the, the philosophers, the people with the quiet voices. I, I really appreciate them because it, it does give a sense of aftermath where you. You can um, chill and take stock of all the crap and shit that goes on in our lives. And um, so, you know, with this election, this American election, it's, um, it's this constant sense that, oh, what's going to happen? When it should have been resolved, like every other election cycle, the, the clear loser should have said, yeah, you know, I've lost. Um, this guy's taken over. I'm going to help him because I want to help the country. And uh, yeah, I'm sure in their own little tiny minds, they think they're doing the right thing. And the sad thing is that because they have such influence that millions of people are now have, a, have an undermining of their sense of... of the f not flimsy democracy, but the democracy that was was had there for the last two hundred years. It's not flimsy at all, actually. It's a it's not it's not perfect, but it's a very flawed democracy. I can think of lots of better democracies. I have to read my book, but um, yeah, the book's coming out soon. So I hope that we do get a sense of aftermath when it comes to this American election. I hope in our lives, in our personal lives, we can have exciting times that then become resolved and we have contentment. And uh, contentment and happiness is really what it's all about. It's trying to, f trying to come through those tough times, figure out what it means, have a good aftermath, have resolution, have peace. So that's my message for today aftermath, resolution and peace.